if there's anything that the world's fastest spin cubers all have in common, it's that they can all turn the Rubik's Cube really quickly. And I mean really, really quickly. Now all of that got me thinking, which speed cube actually turns the fastest? To find out, I took the world's top 10 fastest official 3x3 singles and calculated the number of turns per second, or TDS, of the song. Now in 10th place, we actually have Yu Sheng Du. And if you didn't know, this is actually the current 3x3 world record single of 3.47 seconds. Now if you thought that fastest selves correlated to higher TPS, um, you're wrong. So, this is kind of surprising to me. Like, after all, you'd probably expect the world record not to be last on this list. But the more I thought about it, I realized that Yu Sheng back then didn't nearly average as quickly as the top few speed cubers in the world. In fact, he was averaging about like 7 seconds or so. And this was also a really really lucky solve, which had a PLL skip. And that has like about a 1 in 72 chance of actually happening. So, it kind of makes sense that his TPS was kind of low. But of course, 8.4 TPS is still really impressive. But like, compared to everyone else on this list, it's, um, pretty bad. No offense to anyone. Next in 9th place, we have Patrick Punt. Yes! Now, interestingly enough, this solve is also 9th place on the rankings, with a time of 4.24 seconds, which was actually a North American record at the time. Coincidence? I think! Yeah, it's just... It's just, it's just a coincidence. Or is it? Now this song was actually also pretty lucky, with a PLL skip at the end. Yes, another one. Another one. Which I guess explains why it's a 9th place? There's, there's a plane. I, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a plane, and I don't like it. You done? Also, Patrick actually currently has the one handed goal like an average of 8.65 seconds. <laughs> For now. Now, next in 8th place, we have Max Xiao. Oh, that solve was painfully close to 10 TPS. Um, ouch. Now, this solve was 4.03 seconds, which is currently the fifth fastest solve in the world. He also currently holds a Squirman World Record average of 5.02 seconds. Now, like the other two solves, this solve also had a PLL skip, which kind of explains why it's only 8th on the list. You know what? I have a weird suspicion that the PLL skips are gonna happen for a lot more, so um, let's just put a PLL skip counter over there. Next in 7th place, we have Timon Kolashinsky. Waiting. Hey, there we are. Now, this is also the current European record of 3.97 seconds, which is also fourth in the world. Interestingly enough, he also has the current world record average of 4.86 seconds, and in my opinion, it's probably the best cube in the world as of now. Fight me. So it's kind of weird that he's only seventh on this list, but he's known more for his efficiency than his turning speed, so I guess it makes sense in the end. Next in sixth place, we have Felix Zendex. This solve was also 4.16 seconds, which is an Oceanic record and also 8th in the world. And um, if you didn't already know, he's broken 121 world records. Honestly, how? He's literally the GOAT of speed cubing. Also on a side note, I don't really get why people like to be called the GOAT. Like, I guess that's a nice acronym for greatest of all time or whatever. But like, then again, GOAT. Ew. Now in 5th place, we have Asher Kim Magyara. Goodness, I hope I pronounced that right. Now, this off was actually a 3.87 second single, which was a North American record at the time and the second ever sub 4 single. It's also currently the third fastest solve. Oh, oh, wait, I forgot something. I guess that's expected at this point. Yeah, I don't think there's not much else to say. Um, Asher is fast. Bottom text here. In fourth place, we have Kyle Sansuki. Actually, like, insane. This solve is currently 10th in the world with a time of 4.26 seconds. Now, if you're wondering why this solve is so high on the list, um, you see how that thing's not updating? Yeah, this solve is both step. Finally! Actually, the TPS on this solve, which is 11.50, is kind of considered slow for Kyle. He typically turns at like 12 to 14 TPS, which is kind of mind blowing. Third place is Max Park. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now, we are getting to the big guns. This solve is actually second in the world with a time of 3.63 seconds and is also a current North American record. He also currently holds the world record average of 4.86 yes, seconds yes. along with Timon. I think the reason why he's a lot higher on the list than Timon is because he's known for his insane look ahead and just turning really quickly. Oh yeah, one more thing. 
Next in second place, we have Maddie Hero through Anaba. This self was 4.16 seconds, which is also currently 7th in the world. Now, Maddie's known for being pretty insane, and most notably has an unofficial 3.08 second single. Finally, in first place with an insane TPS of 12.6, Easily the fastest turning speed cube in the world right now, Ray Hang Shu. This song was actually the one that guaranteed him his 5.48 second world record average at the time, which is also currently an Asian record. Honestly, how does one even turn at 12.6 turns per second? His hands quite literally look like they're glitching or something when he's solving the cube. Like, take a look at this clip. And that's not even the craziest thing about him. If I'm not mistaken, he's actually the youngest Cuba on this list. I think he might actually be younger than I am. <laughs> so what did we all learn today, kids? Well, we all learned that we are all just trash at cubing, these guys are insane, and you should probably start practicing. I'm Technically Cubing, and thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Also, thank you guys for 99 subscribers. If you want to check out another video I made about the 2x2, which is a lot harder than you think, just click over here. And if you want to subscribe, just click over here. Bye!